Hi, my name's Hannah, and today on Yutuna, I'm going to tell you about Anisakis. I know it sounds like the name of a manga character or some brand of anisette, but it's actually a marine parasite. It's a thin cylindrical kind of worm called a nematode. And why do we need to be concerned with Anisakis? Well, because if we eat fish or squid that are raw or have been prepared at low temperatures, we can end up eating the Anisaki worm as well and getting sick. Let's take a look at this parasite's life cycle and how it can end up in us by mistake. The adventure begins with a tiny Anisakis egg floating in the sea. Out of the egg comes a larva. The larva gets eaten by a small crustacean. The crustacean, with the larva inside it, ends up as lunch for a fish or a squid. Here we see it getting eaten by an anchovy. For the moment, the larva is happy. Everything is unfolding according to its parasitic plan. While it's inside the fish, the larva stays curled up in a little capsule and only eats just enough to stay alive. It's waiting to see who will become its next home. And sure enough, the anchovy gets eaten by a bigger fish, for example, a hake. The Anisakis larva has moved to a new fish, but it continues to wait patiently because its ideal home isn't a fish at all, it's something warmer, a marine mammal, namely a dolphin. Finally, bingo, a dolphin eats the hake. Inside the dolphin's stomach is where the larva finally becomes an adult worm and looks for a mate. Pretty romantic, eh? Surrounded by bits of half-digested fish. Ugh. Anyway, that's where they mate, and the female lays a bunch of eggs. When the dolphin does its business, the eggs get released into the water, and the cycle starts all over again. Congratulations, Anisakis. You made it. But it doesn't always work out this well for the parasite. It could end up in a large fish, like a swordfish, and in that case, a dolphin would probably never dare to attack and eat a swordfish. As a result, the Anisakis won't be able to breed, because it can only do so in a dolphin. Another bad outcome for the Anisakis is that it end up in a pickled anchovy and that we eat it. It's a tragedy for the Anisakis because although we're mammals, we're sufficiently different from dolphins that the larva will die after a few weeks. And it's bad news for us because the parasite can give us stomach pain, nausea, and in some cases a serious allergic reaction. A curious fact. If the Anisakis ends up in a bluefin tuna, a strange thing happens. Since tuna can raise their body temperature, the Anisaki thinks, oh great, it's warm in here, I must be in a dolphin, and it gets ready to breed. But tuna don't keep a steady body temperature, and the Anisakis ends up dying. Okay, now you know about the Anisaki's life cycle, and how can we avoid getting ill? It's very simple, and we'll tell you about it in a second video, Anisaki's Part 2, How to Avoid It.